Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about concept of Azure File Sync. In this topic, we will understand the concept and we will also see how to deploy it. If you want to go through the complete course, you can purchase these courses from my website that is techlearning.spy.com. All the information is given in the description. If you want to check out the course content, just click on course and click on preview. So left hand side, you can see all of the course contents. Other than individual courses, course packages are also available where you can find out the decent discount on these courses. Let's get back to our topic. So let me draw a diagram. Suppose I have a virtual machine here. I have created one virtual machine. The name of virtual machine is VM1. Okay, and in this virtual machine, let's say there are two drives. One is your C drive. And let me show you how many drives are there. We do this PC. Currently, this is C drive. This is your D drive, but this is written as a temporary storage. Okay, because it is a temporary storage, so I'm not taking this one. And E drive is assigned to my CD DVD ROM here. So what I'm going to do, I will create a drive here and I will assign the letter F and I will call it as a F drive. So let me draw it here. Then one by one, we will execute everything. So this will be C drive and this will be my F drive. Okay. Now, <clears throat> uh, this is your Azure infrastructure. And inside this Azure, you have created a storage account. This is your storage account. What is the name of this storage account? Just come here, LH storage demo. So, LH storage demo. And inside this, I have created one file share. So this is a file share. And what is the name of this file share? The file share name is demo here. And inside this file share, I have uploaded a couple of files. Okay. Now, what is my objective? My objective is that uh, if I store anything inside this app drive, if I store anything inside this app drive, automatically all of the data which is there in the app drive should be sync up with this demo file share. In simple term, if I save anything in app drive, automatically it will sync up and get stored in this demo file share here. Okay, this is what I want to do. Now to execute this one, I need a service that is known as Azure File Sync. We call it Azure File Sync. So we have to set up this Azure File Sync. Okay, so how to set up it now? To set up this concept, I need to create a file sync here. So I have to create a Azure file sync. Okay. And with the help of this Azure file sync, I'm going to execute uh, this setup and uh, achieve the objective that if someone is store anything on app drive that should store directly on your demo file share here okay so let's start from step one and the step one is that in my vm1 i need one f drive currently there is no f drive in it so how i can get an f drive for my virtual machine that is vm1 come here and go to virtual machine and then go to vm1 click on disk here inside vm1 i am clicking on disk okay so when you come to disk here you can see there is only one disk listed os disk one disk is listed and the size is 127 gb and this is the disk where my operating system is installed and this is your c drive okay now i want to create one additional drive here so come here and write click on create and attach a new disk so click on it and disk name, I'm calling it as data disk. And the size I have taken five, sorry. Size is 
size I'm taking 5 GB. Okay. Then after doing all these uh, changes, go ahead and click on save. So here you can see that it is creating your disk. Okay, let's wait for some time and it will create a disk of 5 GB. So disk has been created now updating virtual machine VM1. This process has been completed. It means disk has been created. Now, if I go to my virtual machine, refresh all this thing, still you will see that that F drive is not reflecting here. Why? Because that F drive is like a raw hard disk. The 5 GB what I have taken, the disk what I have created, that is a raw hard disk as of now. I have to format that hard disk, okay? And I have to assign a drive letter with that. Then only it is going to visible here. Okay, so how to do that? For doing it, come on search here and type disk mgt.msc. It means a disk management. Disk mgmt yes so disk mgmt means a disk management dot msc open it and uh, click on ok let, let me expand this one so here you can see that this is your c drive this is the temporary storage d drive what is this temporary storage we will discuss that as of now, temporary storage means if you store anything on this disk, uh, that will be <coughs> lost. Okay. So that is the reason I am not using this disk D drive here. I have created this disk 5 GB and it is showing as unallocated. So what I need to do, right click on it and click on new simple volume. Go to next, next. And uh, it is asking me which drive letter I want to assign. So automatically it has picked up F because F is the next available drive letter. If you want to choose anything else, you can choose it from here. So I'm going with F drive, click on next. And now I want to format it. So you can see perform a quick format. This option is checked and I'm going to format it with the NTFS file system. Okay, you must be aware of these file system, FAT file system, NTFS file system. These are the concept of Windows. If you are not aware, just go through this NTFS and what is diff what is NTFS file system. So I have formatted, <coughs> means I'm going to format my drive with NTFS file system and click on next and then finish. Okay. So formatting is done and you can see the drive letter F is reflecting here. So close this one and now here you can see your F drive is reflecting. Okay. And if you open this one, there is nothing in it as of now. Okay. So one task has been executed. So step one is done. I have attached one F drive with my VM one. Now I need to create this Azure file sync. So to create the Azure file sync, come here on your Azure portal and type Azure file sync. Here you can see Azure file sync, click on it. Okay, so the resource group is MyRG and name, let's say I'm calling it Azure sync one and region should be same as your storage account. So my storage account is in central US. So that is the region, this file sync I'm creating in central US only. Review and create this one. Okay, so this is my sync. Let me copy the name and just come to diagram and paste it here. Done. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, uh, I have to register my server with this Azure Sync 1. Okay, so what I'm trying to do now, I have to register this server <coughs> with this Azure File Sync. Okay, so the name of Azure File Sync is Azure Sync 1 here. 
So now I have to do the process of registration. Okay, so how to register it? For the registration, come here in the sync section and click on registered server. Okay, currently you cannot see anything here because nothing has been registered yet. Okay, how to register? These are the steps for the registration to register a server. So you need to open this uh, link and through this link, you can download one agent okay on the server which you want to register so this is the link actually and here you will get the option to download this one so this file is not showing up in the correct format so here you can see these are the options available download options and all so it is not showing properly so what i will do Copy this one, control C, and let's paste it inside your <coughs> virtual machine itself because in virtual machine only I'm supposed to download uh, my uh, this agent and install it. Before that, let's go ahead and switch it off because we are working with internet here. Minimize and open it. Okay, so here it is showing properly. So the agent name is Azure File Sync Agent. And you just click on download. And this agent is only available for the Windows operating system. And even in the Windows, this is only available for the server operating system like Windows Server 2016, Windows Server 2012 R2, Windows Server 2019. So in my case, my operating system is Windows Server 2016. So once this is actually downloaded, I install this application. So installation process is simple. It is already has been installed. Just go with next, 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 next. And in Azure environment, you select Azure public cloud. So then uh, it will prompt you the username and password of your Azure. So Azure username and password you're supposed to give. So right now I'm trying to give my Azure username and password. Yeah, so let me close this one. Let me show it once again. So here, Azure public cloud, then click on sign in. It is asking for the user ID of your Azure Learning Hub tag, one at the rate gmail.com. And uh, so you can see that it is saying that I have sent one code on your email ID. So let's come here and go to Gmail. Verify. So this authentication is successful. I'm connected. Actually, my Azure file sync is connected to the backend uh, <clears throat> Azure infrastructure. Now it is asking me to choose my subscription. When you click on it, my subscription is free trial. Resource group is my RG and uh, storage sync service. So I had created Azure sync one. So this is what I have selected. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to register my VM1 with this particular Azure Sync 1 uh, Azure File Sync. Okay, so this is the name. So go ahead and click on register here. So registration is successful. If I come back on my portal once again, and let's refresh this one. You can see this server name VM1 is reflecting. The status is online, type is server. This is the operating system server 2016 and the agent what I have installed that is 10.1 and the last sync which happened 9.52 a.m. just now one minute before or uh, the sync happened here. 
okay so registration is done now what i have to do i have to create a file sync here so let me create a file sync and uh, actually we call it as a sync group the real name is sync group and the sync group name i'm going to choose sg1 so through this sync group what we will do the one end of the sync group will be connected to my file share that is demo in this case and this connection is called as client end because this is oh sorry cloud end why because this is connected to the cloud here cloud in the sense this demo file share is in cloud only right it is in azure there's a storage account and this file share everything we have created inside our azure so that is the reason it is known as the cloud end and this will be known as your server end and this will finally attach to this f drive here okay and this will be known as your server end so in this practical i have created this virtual machine inside the azure itself but this is not mandatory that it should be in azure it can be your on premises it can be your aws virtual machine or any other cloud service providers uh, virtual machine okay we have to do the same process wherever we are trying to implement this setup here okay so let's create this uh, sync group first and do the attachment with file share as well as with your app drive inside vm1 okay so to do that come to your portal and here there is an option called sync group so click on it and uh, click on sync group sync group name i'm going to select sg1 subscription free trial it is asking me about the storage account where my file share is there so select a storage account so my storage account is this one lhs storage demo that i have selected and now it is asking me about the file share so my file share is demo and then you create so two things are happening parallelly first thing it is going to create the sync group the second thing is also creating uh, this client end connection because it asked me about the detail of this storage account and this uh, file share also okay so two things are happening parallelly here so sg1 has been created and if you go inside right now this cloud endpoint showing zero but this process is still going on cloud endpoint creation is in progress so as soon as it is done this count will increase to one here okay let's wait for some time okay you can see this has been completed and the count is also increased to one cloud endpoint okay now i need to add my server endpoint also so to add server endpoint you can click on add server endpoint and come to registered server so if you click on it you can see vm1 is already listed because we have completed the registered registration process if you want to add additional servers here first you have to do the registration and um, all of those server will reflect here right now it is asking me about the path path means from where exactly inside this vm1 you want to do the sync with uh, the demo file share if you want you can give you can create one folder inside my f drive and you can mention the path in this way f, f colon slash then name of the folder but in my case i want to mention the complete drive here so you need to give the drive letter in this format f colon slash okay then go ahead and create this one so i'm going to create this server endpoint also okay so now you can see server endpoint is showing as one still this process is going on let it happen so what is going to happen in the back end we need to understand now the sync has been completed okay the connection has been completed here so as soon as this uh, uh, server endpoint also get updated the sync will be done so the initial sync happens in a two way means whatever was there in your f drive will be synced up in this demo file share okay 
and whatever was there in this demo file share is going to sync up in this app drive so the first time when it happens it will be a bidirectional okay so you will see that whatever contents was there in demo file share is going to reflect in app drive but nothing was there in my app drive app drive was empty so that is the reason so that the content in demo files here will remain the same okay but once this <coughs> initial sync up is done after that the direction of sync up will be in this direction it means if you store something in app drive that data is going to sync up here in demo file share but if you upload something in demo file share that is not going to reflect here okay so that is the reason i am saying it will be unidirectional so let me go and see that the server endpoint is also done here okay it means sync is also completed and if i come to my file share azure demo file share and demo so these are the contents correct and uh, if you go to your virtual machine go to app drive in app drive also you can see the same content reflecting here because sync is done and do not confuse with this one let me remove this one disconnect this okay so now you can see your data is here correct so suppose if i have anything on my uh, virtual machine uh, in download i had downloaded this storage sync agent uh, let's cut it and uh, go to this pc app drive and paste it here okay so i have stored it inside my app drive so what will happen so it should be sync up here right automatically refresh you can see this storage sync agent is reflecting here as well okay so it means my sync the azure file sync is working as expected one thing i want to highlight here so these are the files actually they were in your uh, demo file share if you just right click on it and go to properties and go to detail and go to availability you will see the availability is showing as online so what is the meaning of it it means that actually this file is located in in your demo file share and uh, it is utilizing the space of your uh, storage account only okay here it is just like a shortcut this this is visible to you but this is just like a shortcut here it is not occupying any actual space on this app drive but when you open this file let's say now you are trying to open it so when you open it what happens this file get download on your virtual machine okay now this is downloaded on your virtual machine app drive if you just go again and right click on it and go to properties and go to details you can see this availability has been changed to offline what is the meaning of it it has been downloaded to your virtual machine now it is actually occupying the space of your app drive okay so this default sync period is 24 hours after 24 hours you will see that again the status of this file will change as a online and this will be only available as a shortcut so this is one of the benefit that is the reason i am configuring this azure file sync so in actual it is not occupying my virtual machine space this is just available as a shortcut whenever i need i will just open it and it will be downloaded locally and i can access it okay so this is how this concept actually work here so i hope uh, this concept is clear to you if any question uh, please let me know